All right, Shiva, so we're just off a panel discussion where we tried to get at this idea of what is a telco today? What do they need to be in the future to return to growth, to return to innovation? And I think, you know, we didn't have the time that we wanted, so I want to maybe pick up where we left off and ask you, you know, what is a technology company? What defines them organizationally and how they work collaboratively, internally, and with their partners? A lot of telcos have this ambition to become techos. We're seeing green shoots of that with some of our forward-facing telcos. What I see in them primarily is a change agent that comes in and starts to think big about how they operate. And they are less focused on just the utility nature of a telco and more about what do their end customers, the consumers and the enterprises, really want. And they're deeply invested in understanding the use cases they want to build. They're invested in finding partners and technology choices that allow them to serve that need and to do it in a much faster fashion than they've been used to. So that is what forms a techco for me in the telco industry. So as AWS engages with operators around the world, how are you helping facilitate that transition? So at AWS, we, we say that everything that we build is built for a customer. And so what we do is we work with our telco operator partners to say, what is this enterprise use case as an example, an industrial uh, IoT manufacturing use case? What are you trying to, to provide? And when you decide what you want to provide, how do we build the first iteration of that that is fast, right? That is built on top of standardized infrastructure that we can bring to bear, that the, we have some of the largest marketplaces um, in the ecosystem. How do we find all of the intelligence that's in the ISV community that might be able to provide that solution to you? How can we build that on top of the same infrastructure and then bring in the telco's connectivity to it so that the telco can go serve that community and that need? You used some interesting language in our panel discussion um, that really struck me, and that was the, the art of the possible. And so I would maybe ask you, what about the art of the practical? When you're a telco that's trying to make highest and best use of your assets, draw in the correct partners and deliver a customer-centric solution, is it more about thinking big or is it thinking immediate problem solution? You have to do both. So to think big in this industry is to say, where do we want to place bets longer term? But to get to those bets, I think we have to move away from a world where those were large capital intensive bets. And that's where the thinking small and the practical comes in. What are the small practical steps you take week over week, month over month to get you to what your customers really want? Um, we, we can't be so arrogant as to think we really know and can predict five years out what the industry and the ecosystem is going to need. And the experimentation that lets us get there is what I would focus on as a telco. And so for the people that couldn't join us here in London, maybe you can share some summary thoughts around this large concept of telco reinvention and uh, specifically, what is the necessary reinvention and broadly, how do you do it? So the necessary reinvention is always culture and people. We've been used to operating in a world where we go put a lot of money into building these networks. We provide an absolute common good that is necessary for society to function, but now our customers are asking us for more. And the question is, how do we build that iterative process within our ecosystems that lets our teams, our companies, change the way we operate, change our business models in some cases, to say we are okay with doing small things fast for our customers to see if they really want it. And when we can, find signals from the marketplace that says, yeah, that is what they want. How do we go out and scale it? That's how we've got to shift and operate going forward. Excellent. Well, Shivas, thank you so much for the time and the perspective. It's great to catch up with you. Absolutely. Thank you for having me here.